Everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Skyrim Week, where we're just going over some stuff in Dragonborn, etc., etc., that I think you guys would enjoy seeing. So I was talking about Kagramez a lot in a, a previous video, and I was like, you know what, why not just show you guys the, the followers you can get, because this is like a really cool aspect of this DLC. So here we are in Kagramez, the uh, Dwarven Ruin. Here it is on your mini-map in uh, Solstheim. Kagramez in relation to Ravenrock. Alright, so it's like kind of buried, so you want to head down here and activate this elevator so we are going to Kagramez which is in relation to a um, an unmarked quest where you need to find four out of five uh, resonance gems in this DLC there's five but you only need four and once you do that you can activate three gates first gate gives you access to a uh, dwarven spider follower second second gate gives you access to uh, I forget what they're called again um, the guys on the balls um, and the third gate gives you access to the cheapest bow in the whole game, probably, which is going to be the Dwarven Black Bow of Fate. Go watch the video to see how cheap it is if you want to. So here we are in Kagramis. So when you come in here, there's going to be, like, I believe two, it's either two or three uh, bandits, okay? And I, I think I can find one of their dead bodies. Yes, here, or Reavers, right? They're called Reavers in, uh, in Soul Slime. So one of them is going to have two of these gems. Let me find it really quick. Two of these Kagramis Renaissance. I just keep saying renaissance every time I pronounce it. Kagrimiz Resonance Gems. See, I have four. You only need four. There's five in total. Um, if you want to find out where those five are, go watch the video on the Dwarven Black Bow again, because I, you know, I explain the whole thing. And these are what they look like. And basically what these are used for is this center console right here. So as you can see, there's nine different slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you, you need to place uh, the four in different combinations to open up three gates. And the gates have what, where you need to place them on the actual gate itself. So I've already opened them, so you can't really see how it's supposed to look. But as you can see here, um, the, to open this gate, you need to place it one there, and then the other one there, the bottom right. And that would open this gate, okay? And for that, you only need two. Now the second gate, you need three, and for the last gate, you need four. So don't think you can, you know, just get two and complete the whole thing. So your first reward for the first gate is going to be this little guy right here. And this reminds me of dog meat from Fallout. So you can say you seem friendly to him, and then he hisses, and you say you should follow me or I don't need some bucket of scrap metal following me around, in which case he just waits here. But you can always uh, make him follow you. And this lever here just basically activated it. It doesn't do anything once you press it. And then, so that's pretty cool. You can have a dwarven spider following you around. Now, I don't know if he can die. He probably can, considering it's a dwarven spider. I don't use followers ever, so I haven't really tested it out. Um... And once you go through the second gate, you get an even cooler follower, which is going to be the Steadfast Dwarven Spear. So he does the same thing. You seem friendly. You should follow me. I don't need whatever, blah, blah, blah. And he follows you around and, and, and helps you attack. So that's freaking awesome. I'm going to activate him just to see him move around. Hopefully he activates, I think. Uh, well, he comes out of the ball. If you've f fought these enemies before, you should know what they do. Um, and basically, you can tell him it's time for us to part ways, and I'll go back. And so that's freaking cool. Again, this lever just activates uh, whatever. And as you see in the top left, it says your pet heads back. So this is where I'll go back and you tell him to leave. And you can always come back and get him. So that's freaking awesome. I mean, I love how they did that. That's a really cool, unique thing that they did in this DLC. And this is the final gate uh, for the final reward, which is going to be the Door and Black Bow of Fate, which is right here. Which is right here. Freaking freezing menus. Dwarven Black Bow of Fate. Really awesome. Go watch the video about it if you want to learn about it. It's probably the cheapest bow in the game. It was right here. Um, you know, you just pick it up and you got some diamonds and whatever. But I'm already rich as shit, so I don't need that stuff. And then that's pretty much it. You can exit here, and there's like some throne. It's it's supposed to be like trials. Every time you open a gate, uh, it's like a bigger and bigger fight. And I guess these thrones right here. Or, you know to watch it or whatever and if you see over there uh there's like another alcove that there's no way to get to although there is a way to get to it i've gotten there once let me see if i can try and get there again with the Woo! sprint all right so good so far now i gotta wait for it to uh regenerate now really quickly um about this is i looked online and apparently there was supposed to be like nine gems in total and it was supposed to be a much bigger dungeon and like you would use the gems um you know, in different combinations to open up even more gates on that center console right there. And this, apparently, what? is like a part of something Not that us. they cut out. So if you go up here, you can see there's nothing here. There's just like a, 
a gate a big door that you can't do anything with so that was that was kind of weird that they kept this here and i you know i immediately tried to get up here just to see what it was and of course it's nothing so it seems to be like they cut that content out and so now there's only five gems and you only need four um so yeah i just wanted to really quickly run through kagrimus since i talked about it so much in the other video I think this is the guy that has it. It's going to be the higher level guy. Uh, he has the two gems. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Always helps me out. And subscribe if you want to see more quality content uh, about Skyrim probably and many more other games. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'm Grovana and have a great day. Bye.